what's going on everyone so today i want to show you a quick do-it-yourself uh, spray to kill these asian lantern flies that have been invading pretty much almost everywhere especially here on the east coast so you're going to take a gallon of vinegar just plain old white vinegar and then the biggest jug of dawn dish soap or any brand dish soap i like dawn because i think it's a little stronger uh, usually the biggest one I can find is like a two liter bottle. So you're going to take your vinegar and you're going to dump that first into a sprayer. Just any sprayer from like Home Depot um, or hardware store will work. And then you're going to dump the Dawn soap into there. The reason why I dump the vinegar first is because um, if you dump the soap in first and then the vinegar on top, it tends to sud up and, and make a ton more bubbles. So by pouring the soap into the vinegar, uh, keeps the kind of the bubbles and the suds down. Once you've poured both in, you're going to gently shake the sprayer back and forth. You can kind of flip it upside down a couple of times. I'm holding my phone, so I'm not going to do it here. Um, but you don't want to like really vigorously shake it like you would a paint can or else you're going to cause too many suds. So um, yeah, but we're going to pump it up and start spraying. Now, I used to, when I first did this, I used to try to go around and pinpoint every single little lantern fly. But what I found was that I was still missing a lot of them because uh, they're just so hard to see, especially the adult brown ones on the brown branches. They are just like, you really can't see them. So I just started covering the entire area that I thought was uh, infested with these things. And they just started dropping out um you see them here they just start falling out as soon as this spray hits them they just start falling out now you're going to try to hit them one more time when they're on the ground you can just stomp them because this does make them lethargic enough with that first spray to just stomp them you know you guys know that if you try to chase these things around sometimes they'll fly away right before you put your foot on them um, but not with the spray so i spray them a couple times on the ground and it takes probably 30 seconds to a minute for them to die but they will die once they're sprayed and just keep in mind that see this one that's it done it's uh two three sprays and it's just gonna do a couple leaps and it's gonna stay there and some of them just their last jump they actually jump and turn upside down with their legs up and you'll know they're completely dead but this one here if i left it and i didn't keep spraying it, it it's just gonna die about a minute 30 seconds to a minute um but keep in mind that they will jump towards you okay it's like they know that you're spraying them so even when they're, they're falling off the trees or the bushes they're still gonna kind of fly towards you so uh just keep that in mind um yeah and, and that's pretty much it you're gonna you're gonna see that uh this thing's just gonna slow down and slow down and slow down until until it just keels over and dies And it's got one last little jump in it. We're about a minute in since my initial spray. And there's that last jump. And that's it. That's it. It's done. Dead. There's another one. There it is. They just keep falling down. Let's spray it one more time. Spray it again. This time I've decided to collect um, all of them and count them to see how many I actually got.
Okay, so my grand total for today's spray was 74 lantern flies. In about 20 minutes, I would say, 20 minutes to a half hour. It's a lot. Now, this is my second spray like this. And I'll, I, although I didn't count them the first time, I got a lot more than this spray, which to me means that I definitely put a dent in the population the first time, three days ago. Today, a lot more fell, and I'm just going to continue doing it until I deplete all these suckers. So the spray is, to me, it's, it's non-toxic, all right? It's just soap and vinegar. Um, the only thing it's going to do is brown and yellow your leaves a little bit. So I just like to rinse them off, any plants that you don't want really to minimize the uh, yellowness or brown leaves. And then just rinse the floor if you have pavers or concrete because it is going to leave a soapy residue. And if it rains, it might be a little slick. But other than that, you know, you're cleaning your driveway at the same time. So it's a win-win. Okay, so here's a little chart on the stages of the lanternfly. Uh, if you noticed, I was spraying all the adults because I didn't get a chance to use this spray on a lot of the younger stages of the fly but i did find a few towards the end when i first started spraying and they work even better than on the adults uh so they're like little black spotted things and they're super young then it turns into like this red almost giant super ladybug looking thing and they don't fly at this stage when they're red like this but they do jump extremely well and very high and fast so now the egg sac that's at the top i'm i haven't found any yet I don't know for sure if this spray is going to work on them. I'm fairly confident that if it does hit the egg sac, that it is going to smother it and hopefully prevent it from hatching. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. Those are the stages. Hopefully this helps you out. And just another quick tip, if you waited till the end of the video, um, this spray actually works phenomenally well on ants, especially big, the, those big carpenter ants. It really works well on them. As soon as you spray them, they don't venture far off, just uh, maybe a foot from the spot you sprayed them, and they just start kind of uh, crawling into a bowl, and they die, you know, in under 30 seconds. So, all right, hopefully this helps you out, and thanks for watching, and uh, get rid of those lanternflies, would you?